In oceanography, we studied different nature and characteristics of oceans like the movement or motion of water, salinity, temperature, deposit, etc. And it is mine that has some needs and there are a number of things, biotic and abiotic, in ocean which are of use for the mine, which are called resources. There is difference between resource and neutral stuff. All the things found on earth in environment are neutral stuff if they are not of use. They are, they have not been identified by man or they are not in use. Thus, these neutral stuffs become resource as identified by man for the use of man. Thus, resources are all those things which are of human use. We know that on the land or lithosphere, there are a number of resources. Today, population is growing rapidly and the need of man is also growing rapidly. That's why the resources on lithosphere are falling, salt, getting polluted. There are a number of limitations before the land resources. That's why today man is looking towards the oceanic living and non-living resources and that too ocean is advancing towards mine and offering a number of resources. So this is about resource. Zimmerman, a known geographer, Zimmerman, a famous geographer, propounded that resources are not, rather they become when the things are being identified for human use, then that becomes resource. Uh, remaining other things found in environment are called neutral stuff, which have been not identified by man. These neutral stuffs become resources due to human needs and technological advancement. It is only technology that converts neutral, neutral stuff into resource. Next important point here is that, that resources are distributed all over lithosphere and oceans, but the lithospheric resources have several limitations. Their area is limited about 29% while the area of ocean 71% and the next importance is that the population of the land is increasing rapidly and this is enforcing man to explore and exploit various types of marine resources. Why? Because the land resources may be biotic and biotic have a number of limitations. For example, they are limited. Number two, they are depletable. Number three, they get polluted cause environmental pollution. But contrary to it, the marine resources are vast. They are replenishable or they are renewable. There are a type of biotic and abiotic resources and the marine resources when exploited and used cause less pollution. Thus marine resources have more importance than the land resources. After understanding the meaning of neutral stuff resources and land and marine resources, let us come to learn types of marine resources. There are a number of resources in oceans which for the sake of convenience can be put in two large groups. Number one, abiotic or non-living resources, these. Number two, biotic or 
living resources this so there are two categories of marine resources in abiotic or non living resources again two classes number 1 mineral deposits number 2 energy in minerals there are a number of minerals and these minerals are made up during geological past with along with the land minerals and ocean bottoms consist of the igneous and metamorphic rocks which have a type of mineral for example ocean bottoms are rich in polymetallic nodules these are potato shaped things which continuously are formed naturally in the ocean bed which are exploited which are collected by man for different industrial use and again nature farms this man again collects it the second is copper third cobalt nickel manganese these minerals are found in ocean bottoms for example in atlantic pacific and indian in indian ocean near diego garcia india has 75000 km square area where these minerals are found and india is exploring trying to exploit it with the help of the aqua jeep provided by german technology likewise there is one mineral that is salt mineral this is also a type of rock which is used by man and other animals salt distribution in world is found along cancer and capricorn to the west of the continents for example in india in gujarat in africa west coast of sahara desert especially mauritania and the california region to the west of sonoran desert and west coast of atacama desert kalahari desert and west australian desert so this is general distribution but all the ocean water consist of salt and salt distribution is found in other places also next is coral we have studied coral separately but here coral is also a resource used by man for tourism for the raw material of cement industry thus corals are the distribution of corals have also been studied that these are found along cancer and capricorn along the eastern continental shelf and slope of the continents now let us come to energy resource in ocean these are of two types number 1 biotic and number 2 abiotic here it appears contradictory it appears odd that if it is abiotic and it is biotic then why this biotic energy in abiotic group it should have been put in the biotic category but it is not so here biotic means these are of biotic origin but here biotic means fish pearl and plants you cannot catch this fish can run can move can grow while not this biotic petroleum and natural gas its origin nature of origin is biotic and this energy biotic is found uh, naturally abundantly in the ocean ocean bed for example petroleum and natural gas found largely near on the east coast of venezuela to the east coast of usa in arctic alaska norway sweden in persian gulf bombay high north sea south china sea thus there are a number of deposits of petroleum and natural gas in ocean 
which are being explored, exploited for human use and welfare. Uh, and this is called offshore drilling. Now, next energy is of abiotic origin, abiotic nature. For example, wave energy, tidal energy, OTEC, ocean thermal energy conversion and osprey energy, ocean soil power renewable energy. We have separate video regarding this energy wave and tidal. For generalization, the wave and tidal energy is largely found in North Hemisphere, although there are scopes, good scopes in South Hemisphere, but till technology has been developed largely in North Hemisphere countries, that's why these two energy as well as OTEC energy also has been taken from the countries in North Hemisphere and this OTEC energy is largely found in the tropical and subtropical region where there is epilimnion, hypolimnion and thermocline belt which we have studied separately in other video the OTEC energy but there is good scope of osprey energy on which countries like Scotland and others are doing research. And this osprey like OTEC will also prove a renewable important oceanic energy. Now come to biotic resources or living resources. Here number one is fish. We have studied fish separately that fish are largely found where two different nature waters meet means where cold water and warm water currents meet for example near newfoundland on grand bank and george bank areas where from north cold labrador current from south warm gulf stream current meet in the same belt in north sea near japan and in south near Tierra del Fuego or Escotia Sea to the southeast of Madagascar and South Africa and to the southeast of Australia where cold and warm current meet the fish found abundantly. In the same way these are found on the east of the continents where monsoon rain, monsoon rain is found and water is normal. After fish, now let us come to learn the pearl. Pearl is a microorganism found in oceans and they are of two types, fresh water and saline water. And pearl oysters secret calcium carbonate and this calcium carbonate made up of circular rings which is called pearl used as gemstone by man. The Bahrain regarding its distribution let us come to Bahrain which was called country of pearls but there are suitable conditions for pearl distribution there but today all those conditions have gone because of Gulf crisis and war between Iran, Iraq, Iraq, Kuwait. That's why the oil drilling, oil leakage and war pollutants are enforcing these pulse in Bahrain or Persian Gulf to flee away from there. That's why the pearl have moved from there and they are now staying in Lakshadweep region. Gulf of Mannar, Andaman and Nicobar, South East China Sea, near Australia and to the east of Japan. So, pearl is also a very valuable marine resource. Next is plants. Plants are of different type which enrich and strengthen the ecosystem ecology of the ocean. But some plants are of medicinal value. 
those are number one anti cancerous today humanity is suffering fatal disease like cancer to get rid of cancer there is one herb or phytoplankton in ocean the name of which is dinoflag elates likewise today humanity is also suffering from detoxification suffering from toxification because uh, through food chain a number of toxics are going in our body causing a number of diseases that's why detoxifying uh, objects are algae is found in ocean the name of which is spirulina chlorella and as taxanthin so these are the two phytoplanktons which are used for detoxification now very important thing which is main engineered in ocean that is aqua culture which is generally practiced by man in shallow water where fishing is practiced and one is marine plowing today man is not plowing land rather man is plowing the silo waters along the coast in marine plowing the fish their breeds herbs phytoplankton and small microorganisms are being nourished in ocean thus this is called marine plowing and next is marine parks are marine national park today man is not controlling and conserving the land ecosystem plants and animals by the terrestrial or land national parks rather man is also thinking to conserve preserve and protect the marine plants and animals are say phyto and zooplankton by farming marine national parks for example in india gujarat marine national park in gujarat and malwan marine national park near mumbai and mannar marine national park and wandur marine national park in andaman and nicobar so this is a human interference in marine resources thus this is a marine this is about the marine resource wherein first you will give the definition and importance of marine resource then you will give the types of classification of marine resource and after that you will draw world map and so the location of these resources respectively after studying the types of marine resources living and non living let us see the distribution of these marine resources on world ocean map here it is coral we have studied that corals are generally found along tropic of cancer to the east of the continent on continental shelf and slope thus in caribbean sea here along the east coast of red sea persian gulf lakshadweep andaman nicobar and here south china sea likewise these corals are found along capricorn to the east of continents on continental shelf slope here it is the eastern coast of this brazil eastern coast of madagascar and eastern northeastern coast of australia and we have separately studied coral and coral bleaching next is otec ocean thermal energy conversion which has been shown here and these otec energy stations are generally in north hemisphere but the ideal suitable condition is in tropic and subtropic ocean where the upper warm epilimnian layer and below cool hypolimnian layer in between the thermocline conditions are found 
in ideal condition next is wave energy power stations and tidal energy power stations these have also been shown with the help of symbols but the trend of general distribution is seen that these two energy wave and tidal are generally found in the north hemisphere because north hemisphere countries are developed and developing and those have technology and energy and suffering from energy crisis and that's why these two renewable energy from oceans are being taken by those countries besides this the distribution of salt as we have studied that along the cancer to the west of continent here in california here mauritania and here in gujarat likewise in south hemisphere here to the west of peru here west coast of kalahari and here west australian desert along its coast that's why the distribution of salt is also very much clear besides it a number of places for salt deposition and extraction are there in ocean next important biotic resource is fish the distribution of fish has already been discussed here in the grand and george bank region where cold labrador and warm uh, gulf stream currents meet in north in north sea here near japan where cold and warm currents meet in the south hemisphere like that here in escocia sea to the east of tierra del fuego where warm brazil and cold circum antarctica current meet likewise here agulhas current and cold circum antarctica current here to the east of australia the warm east australian current and cold circum antarctica current meet thus the general distribution of fish is this but in all the oceans especially along the east of the continents where fresh water due to monsoonal rain is found the fish is found abundantly regarding the pearl we have discussed that in bahrain bahrain was called country of pearl but due to adverse conditions of pollution war these pearls moved from here to lakshadweep then to gulf of mannar then to andaman nicobar and then to south china sea and here japan from south china sea to here australia thus generally pearl are found in the old continents but being in proximity they have reached in australia also so these are the general resources in ocean but there are some petroleum resources that has also been discussed which are found here in the north of alaska and along the arctic west of greenland east of greenland and norway sweden besides this petroleum in venezuela here in nigeria coast guinea coast bombay high north sea and east southeast china sea there are rich deposit of gas and petroleum which are of shore gas and petroleum deposits now one very important thing that copper nickel cobalt magnesium these minerals are found all over the oceans but special attention to be given is that here near diego garcia india has got what india has been allocated 1.5 lakh kilometer square area by united nations because india was one of the four premier signatories in the 
international seabed authority that's why the international seabed authority granted india 1.5 lakh kilometer square area of ocean near diego garcia although it is out of the eez of india even then india has been granted india has been allocated this region on the condition that the 75000 km square area means 50% of the total allocated area will be retained by india where the minerals are found but the remaining area having no mineral will be returned back to international seabed authority that's why here india has retained 75000 km square area and there a number of minerals like cobalt copper manganese nickel are found and india is extracting india is exploring and extracting those minerals with the help of aqua jeep from germany and thus this is the marine mineral resource in indian ocean but such type of deposit are found all over world ocean but generally those deposits are outside of the eez eez exclusive economic zone of the countries that's why they are under the international seabed authority but it is the discretion of the international seabed authority to allocate those to any of the countries of the world so this is the distribution of different abiotic and biotic marine resources now we have discussed here what is resource then we have classified the marine abiotic and biotic resources discuss their importance and then show their location on the world map